Good morning, day four. Already day four. four of the sea. Already. We are in Bonaire this morning. Beautiful a coastline as we came sailing in. And we're still not parked. He's still adjusting the Azipods. He's still positioning to, to park parallel park. We are renting a, a golf cart today from Bonaire Cruisers. And we gonna just cruise hang the out. island. We're yeah. gonna hang out. Like, do our thing. Get a map and see what's going on in Bonaire. Cause you never know what's coming on a Caribbean island. Here's today four. The most important <laughs> part to, of your breakfast. To start my day. The most important part of your Americano. breakfast. Americano. What it used to be like Wheaties, the best way to start your breakfast now. Yeah, you scared me when you started with the weed. Weed. I don't weed. do weed. <laughs> so what else are you gearing up with? Uh, same old, same old? Look here, this is my breakfast. Uh, okay, he's a creature of habit. The secret of boiling an egg so that it will peel easily. Well, Please put in the comments. Uh, in their defense, it's been perfect up, up to this egg. Well, that's more confusing. So what did they do differently today? I think it was just this egg. This egg is rebellious. I four... Oh, you got me three donuts. I four went. I, I'm going to forego. I forwent. Is that a I, word? I'm going to forego. I, I, I did forego the gravy and biscuits this morning. Just the egg omelet and the chicken sausage. Wait and a one of these Wait is yours. You Not all three are mine. Two are mine though. So you get to pick pink or white. Alright, this is not fair. Y'all should see his face. He's like <laughs> This is not fair. <laughs> I'm gonna this, protest this to the donut officials. Even before you get to the gangway. They want to see your CPAS card and know that you are ready to leave. And off the ship. The beautiful Bonaire. We were told with Bonaire cruisers to go straight into port and they are the last tent on, I guess we go to the left because I see all the tents down there. Here's the start of the tents as we walk through the buildings and we are going all the way down to the last tent. And the very last tent, just like they said, are our Bonaire cruisers. Hi! After you find the tent, they will take you to where you need to go. She took us to the corner down here and she points to the place where all of those cars are in the yield sign and says go beyond those then turn right correct <laughs> turn right and you'll see the golf carts and there is the coca-cola building and we're turning right and there's the golf carts when you get here you'll see check-in they'll be explaining the paperwork to you so after you get checked in then you stand here for a map explanation. And just follow the road. All right. So we release your parking brake. You hit a little bit of gas. Yep. And and that releases. And, and Here we go. This is the first stop after we got around the airport. I believe it's called Bachelor's Beach. It's extremely rocky, but it's also extremely beautiful. And there's our ship, off in the distance. Have some people down there on the actual beach area who are enjoying the water. It's probably less rocky down there. This is beautiful green and blue water. Looks like we're in some kind of salt area because this water is pink. But this white stuff right here on the rocks is foam. At first we thought it was salt, but it's foam. The difference in the aqua blue water and the salt water is obvious. The pink color is caused by a microorganism called halophilic bacteria, which is not really a bacteria at all, but rather a single cell life form. The cell membranes contain pigments which give the crystallizers the red-pink color. 
the white salt pyramids at the southeastern end of the island are too obvious to miss. Each pyramid, roughly 50 feet high, contains approximately 10,000 metric tons of 99.6% pure salt. Depending on the time of the year, there can be upwards of 200,000 metric tons of salt neatly stacked in long rows awaiting shipment. The Solar Salt Facility, one of the largest in the Caribbean, is owned by Cargill, a Minnesota-based private company. The operation uses a series of 250-acre condenser ponds. Salt water is drawn directly from the Caribbean or from the adjoining brine lake, moves through a succession of condenser ponds where the salinity of the brine is successfully increased as unrelenting sun and wind steadily evaporate the water. Seeing the slave huts was a unique and humbling experience. Bonaire residents say these huts serve as a poignant reminder of the darkest period in their history. The huts were restored to their original state except the traditional thatched roofs were replaced by a more durable marine plywood. Slaves brought to the island included black slaves from Africa and Indians, and the West India Company used it as a penal colony for soldiers who had misbehaved. The majority of slaves were owned by the government and worked the salt mines. There were also a small number of privately owned slaves. The huts were built by the West India Company close to the salt flats, so the slaves had somewhere close to stay during the week. On the weekend, they reportedly walked the seven hours back to their homes on Rincon in the middle of the island. The huts were built as a shelter for the slaves to sleep. And even though it's hard to believe that even two grown men could sleep in one, the reality was oftentimes they slept up to six. The Pelcamir Flamingo Sanctuary is one of the only four areas in the world where flamingos breed. The salt pans are home to over 10,000 flamingos. The Caribbean flamingo is one of the most colorful of all flamingo species, due mainly to those red carotenes in their diet. Oh, do we boy. Say, I'm a Bonaire pup. I'm a Bonaire yeah, yeah, pup. That's, that's from Bonaire. Ah, and that's his daddy. What's daddy's name? <laughs> I know. I'm JJ, that's my wife Sherry. Thanks for You're letting welcome. us pop your pub. Yeah. The Willem Storen Lighthouse is Bonaire's first lighthouse built in 1837. As you can see, it's obviously a very popular tourist stop. One, I thought this was beautiful, and two, this is the area that the ocean comes in under this bridge right here to feed in the salt water, the salt mines. South end of the island, heavy breakers, heavy rocks, and dark blue, very deep. We turned in the golf cart. Turned it in. We paid with credit card, so we'll be waiting for our, they said they did a authorization, but not a charge, is that what they said? A hold, they do yeah. a hold for, for the deposit. deposit. So obviously if you don't bring it back, you lose $100. Right. <laughs> and possibly something more, but. You go to jail. <laughs> right. We asked him where to go eat at a good local place, and he recommended Carl's, Carl's Pier on the pier or Carl's Pier or something like that. He said it was about a five minute walk. Island walking time is much different than 
U.S. walking time, <laughs> but we're walking this way and we're going to try to find this restaurant. It says, I love uh, Corel's. This is what it actually is. I love Corel's. We found it Corel's, although he said Carl's. Carl's Beach Bar and Water Sports. And it said, wait to be seated. So that's what we're doing. Can you get fed? Unfortunately, we couldn't get anyone to come seat us at Carl's. So we're going right across the street to the Rumba Cafe. We're gonna try the Rumba Cafe because it says fresh catch of the day. How special. Um, anyway, we're gonna see. Hopefully we're gonna see condition. how this goes. Food, drinks, and pizza. So we are on restaurant choice number three now. This is our third time at bat, ladies Ooh, and gentlemen. We walked right across the street to the Rumba Cafe and um, it was just kind of like, again, we're just being ignored. We just walked in and, you know, we're trying to find out, do we seat ourselves? And so I asked a waitress and she said, kind of very curtly, They were overwhelmed with business. Yeah, they're just, just overwhelmed. So she just said, understand. sit down and we'll get to you. Okay. We were like, okay, they're like really busy. And I said, thank you. Yeah. So we walked back out and the woman who was at a, the water taxi service, right outside of Carl's told us about this place down here that's called It Rains Fishes. <laughs> so we're walking down about a minute more to try It Rains Fishes. So we found it. We get down here and breaking news is they are closed for lunch until further notice. Back to the ship we go. Three strikes for I'm out. Back home to Explorer of the Seas. Home away from home. Lunch in the windjammer. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We're really going to be disappointed when we get in there. Times <laughs> because it's 1.20 and yeah. they like close at 1.30 maybe. We're, we're, we're going to be eating pizza and sandwiches at Cafe Promenade. <laughs> the process to get back on the ship is show your sea pass as you enter the gate. Show your sea pass as you come to this little awning here. And as we're entering into the security area, you'll have Scan. to Windjammer's still open. We're here. We're gonna eat. We were so hungry after our Olympic trials looking for a restaurant in Bonaire that JJ didn't uh, show his food. But I just got back from getting mine and I thought yesterday maybe was the oddest conglomerate ever, but it's not. This is mayonnaise for the burger that I found after I got orange chicken and fried rice. So of course, you have to get fries with the cheeseburger and the mac and cheese was right there so i mean what are you gonna do and of course then you gotta have your ranch no for your french fries oh or the burger i like ranch on my burger i don't know what all i'll eat but it, you know your stomach doesn't know the difference well you've been searching the last three hours for lunch and so i kind of got hungry for a little bit of everything and that's exactly what i got i had baked white fish which was excellent and i've saved a little bit for y'all to see uh, with a light lemon sauce, steamed carrots and cauliflower, and a uh, great big salad. After running the gauntlet for food today, I hate to say anything negative, but this is what we do. We give y'all our review of the food. So today in the Windjammer, the orange chicken was quite fatty. Not a good choice. Very gr gristly and fatty. Mm, I would not go with the orange chicken. The ranch was like water <laughs> it was very runny it had an okay flavor if you could get enough to stick on the food the fries i like crispy really crispy fries and these are not at all and they were like that yesterday and i kind of thought it might be because they were fresh and they hadn't sat under the warmer long enough but they just don't have crispy fries the burger was good i have determined that i like charbroiled char broiled like the little char on it <laughs> a little bit i like that taste if you don't like that they do you can choose your own burger patty in the windjammer so you can choose a lighter cooked one if you want it my fish 
with the creamy lemon sauce. He said his white was fish outstanding. was awesome. Yeah, of course, the salad, you can't go wrong if you like everything in the kitchen sink, plus the thinner ranch dressing. If you didn't need to save room for dessert, you would have gone to get more fish. I would have, right? but yeah. I'm going to have dessert and maybe a slice or two way. of pepperoni pizza. For dessert, vanilla layer cake, I think is what they said it was, and they're cream puff crazy these days. This is a, it's a did, nut. Did you just call me a cream puff? It's a nut. <laughs> Sometimes. It's a, it's a nut. That not, hurts my heart. Not carp, not cashew. It's some kind of cream puff. And then some more uh, pineapple custard tart. I think that's what we had yesterday that we liked so much. It's a brighter yellow though. And carrot pound cake. They're kind of pound cake crazy these days in the Windjammer too. So um, they had a blueberry streusel something and I ran out of room on the plate. So we'll have to try that one later. So let me ask you this question. Yes. What did you get for yourself? Hold up, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Let's try the vanilla, see how it is. The vanilla is amazing. Wait a minute, it had two hmms and a hmm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, the vanilla layer cake is good. That tastes Here, like y'all try cake. some of this. There you go. Let's try this pineapple something custard tart. Taste of pineapple. Coconut. It's got coconut in it too. The pound cake's been good and moist throughout, and the, the cream puffs are. Okay, I mean, they're not sweet enough inside for me. Cream puffs are good with black coffee. Probably so, and that yep. would make it that would make it taste sweeter when you're drinking black coffee. Get your coffee, bite of that. I don't drink coffee. You like the wedding cake better. Definitely. I have a warning for you, Mr. Wagner. You cannot have pizza because you have a chops reservation this evening. Oh. You need to save room for your favorite surf and turf at yep. least the yep. turf part sometimes don't get lobster but you always get the I get the nine ounce filet filet mignon I may eat two of them no I won't we're about to push off here in Bonaire and with three blasts of the horn the ship has left the pier beautiful little Caribbean island and the sunset Home. So, you already know what you're going to have? Filet mignon, sauteed mushrooms, baked potato with butter. Oh, he's getting specific. And a Caesar salad. He's getting specific. I am not a big steak eater generally because I grew up with not very expensive steak. <laughs> so, I thought that's how steak was. It was grisly and it was tough. And that's just how steak is. So, I, I guess I don't like steak. You don't know what I like? Until, of course, I tasted filet mignon. And then that's She's hooked. That's different. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. So we went to Chops at 622 and our, our reservation keeps an appointment. <laughs> our reservation. Well, it is an appointment. I guess so. Is it 630? And I was afraid we were going to be late. So we walk in and he says, um, uh, can you come back? We're just now seating 6 o'clock and 615. People are showing up late, so we don't have a spot yet. <laughs> So we're just roaming around the ship and waiting until we can go back <laughs> to, to, for a later dinner time. We got our bread. Are you into the bread? Let me see. Wow, I don't even know what those are. Uh, are they? I have dibs on the pretzel is bread. It, is it? This is pret This is pretzel bread, right? What is had, this? That's your. That's your bread. Onion. It looks like an onion. Onion bread. So I see there is still one pretzel bread left in there. Was it not good? It was amazing. It was good, actually. It was I warm. I had half of it. It was warm. That butter melted right all over it. This this one, I'm not sure what it was, but it's a little hard. So I didn't I didn't finish it. It'll be soft inside. Probably so, but the pretzel bread went out. Appetizer, I got the lump crab meat. Oh my goodness, look, look at, at that. that. 
That is beautiful. Giant shrimp. Those are giant. That's crazy. Giant. That is Look at the size crazy. of that Crazy. Wow. Mm. Mm. Tell us how the sauce is. I want to see if it. Yeah, I want to see if the hot sauce yeah. is hot enough. I like that horseradish. Let's hear it. Perfect. I could use a little bit extra horseradish. Oh, okay. JJ's trying the rock hard bread that looks like a big onion. So we'll see how it is. Oh, excellent, excellent, my friend. Thank you. And he had to have more horseradish. He he got more horseradish sauce for his. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Shrimp sauce. Yeah, it'll be nice and spicy for him, mm -hmm. as opposed to my crab cake, which is actually a little spicy. I was surprised when I tasted it. I'm not sure. I guess those are red and green bell peppers. I guess so. It was a little a little spicy for me, but I'm a wimp. Is it onion bread of some sort? No. It might be actually. Got a hint of onion. Yeah. Look good? Yeah. Yeah. Is it good as the pretzel bread? No. This I think is whole lump crab meat. Like that's actually this right here. Are you focused? Yep. Is <laughs> is a whole piece of crab meat. It's beautiful. It's very good, and I said earlier that it was a little spicy. It, it still is, and I've even like scooted the peppers over to the side, so the spice is actually inside. But I'm a wimp, so if you like a little bit of spice, you'll love it. If you like a lot of spice, it won't be enough for you. If you're very sensitive to spice, it might be too much. That is a big piece of salad. It's my wedge. You it's excited? my wedge. I'm excited. That excited gets me excited. How do we do? You, you got to get a picture of this. It is lobster bisque, and it looks thick. Oh, you got to stir perfect. that cream in there, I man. I know that sour cream. Yeah. Okay. It is going in my belly. Okay, I'll tell you how it tastes. Hold on. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, that too is a little spicy. What is yes. up with the spice and everything tonight? Yes. Hold on. Yeah, some of the best lobster bisque. The key is when you cut into it. He got the large filet, which is how many ounces? Perfect. Oh, wow. Perfect. That's still mooing almost. I right? love it. And it comes with mushrooms? Sauteed mushrooms, baked, baked potato, potato, and, and I you guess got those truffle are fries. My yep. truffle fries. I'm yep. not sure why they're called truffle fries. It's, uh, and not just fish fries. A fresh cut. I thought it was going to be something different that makes it a truffle fry. So y'all put down in the comments why that's not just a french fry and why it's a truffle fry. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. And I just cut into mine and it is also just how I like it. That's, medium well. It's beautiful. No mooing at all. Unfortunately, my steak was <clears throat> a little less than lukewarm. It wasn't cold, in my opinion, because I don't like having to blow on things so much that I can't just eat. And the taste is great, and the flavor is great, the seasoning is great. It was just not up to Royal Caribbean standards, which the waiter and the boss have already been over to ask us about it. Take two to three minutes, he said, we'd get you a new one. They were very accommodating, and I was just, no, you know, I got it all cut up already. It's seasoned great, the taste is great, so it was fine. And I did figure out, I still don't know why they're called truffle fries, but they're extremely crispy. So I'm very happy with the truffle fries, french fries. The steak is very tender, it's got a great taste, the seasoning is perfect, but it was barely lukewarm. A steak, in my opinion, ought to be served piping hot. Mushrooms are good? Mushrooms are cool, are cold. Oh. Yeah. Goodness. And your baked potato looks hot. Perfect. The butter's melting. Perfect. This is my favorite course. I stopped early on the steak just to save room. And this is probably my favorite dessert in the world. So that's easy. Like I look at the list like it's done. And that. That's even got chocolate throughout. Uh, I can handle it. I can mm. handle, let's see. Let's see how it is. Okay. Could have done without the chocolate, quite honestly. Could have done without the chocolate. But oh, it's no, good. you got to have chocolate. But it's good. It is 
Cheesecake City. So, how is it? It ain't Junior's, but it's okay. Hey, consider where you are, you're out in the middle of the ocean. What is this? What is what? There's like still cheesecake left I there. I know. No? You, could, you couldn't do it? Look at that. You couldn't handle it. Mm. I tapped out. You tapped out? I couldn't finish you it. You done? Plus the like the chocolate again just doesn't do it for me. However, if you like, and I think it's dark chocolate too. So if you like dark chocolate, because it's got the layers of the chocolate and the cake and then the icing yeah, and see the that. chocolate, you know. Yeah. So if you like dark chocolate, this will be the bomb for you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you save room. Our ramifications of food issues today continue. <laughs> We just now got done with dinner and it's, well, it was probably about 10 till 9 and the ice show started at 9. It is packed. Studio B is where the ice show is and it's on deck 3. They do it tonight and then they do it again on day or night 7. So we're okay, we can come back and see it again, but it was packed. I mean, we probably could have found two seats together somewhere, but we would have had to like, you know, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If you want seats, go early. <laughs> to all the shows. We're back to full capacity, folks. It's going to be full. Here are your Starbucks options at the Cafe Promenade. So they do have some things beyond the regular Starbucks coffees. Good day, tomorrow. Carousel? Yes. And we are doing a sea turtle. Swim with the turtles in Grote Nip Beach. Day four down. Four down. Day four down. 